Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on the bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. To get up to date on the progress of this XER, go ahead and uh, take a look at the playlist and that will get you uh, up to date as far as the uh, work that has been done to this sled so far. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. All right, so today, the uh, the latest step in the, uh, the XER is we're gonna uh, um, work on the primary clutch. In the previous video, we talked about uh, how the, uh, the primary clutch had a big score on it. We, uh, we used, well, we took the, uh, the primary clutch off the Indy Trail before we got rid of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the spring and um, also transfer the weights over from the original XCR clutch over to the Indy Trail. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the process of what you need to do, and this is a fairly easy process. So let's get to it, let's get to work. Okay, so what we have to do is to remove the primary, there is a axis hole in the belly pan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the 5 8 bolt that's holding the primary onto the engine. I'm using a uh, impact. So what you wanna do, the first thing you wanna do is make sure the kill switch is off. So in the event that this engine does spin, as you're taking the, uh, the primary off, it doesn't automatically start on you. So safety first, make sure the kill switch is off and the key switch is off as well. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this bolt. All you do is you pass it through the access hole, begin to screw it in. All right, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna thread it in there and just, and then it comes right off. Uh, at this point, you're gonna remove the clutch puller from the clutch so you can get the uh, clutch out of the belly pan. it out take the primary off and there you go all right so at this point we're gonna start the uh, disassembly of the primary clutch and before you do this what I would recommend is go ahead and hit this thing with some brake cleaner and uh, some compressed air and blow it out because uh, you want this thing to be somewhat relatively clean before you start working on it and this is a balanced assembly if you look, there's a couple of uh, weight reduction holes in the cover. And the reason is when this is assembled, they spin it, they figure out which side is out of balance, and then they, they drill holes to reduce the weight and balance out the clutch. So with that being said, when this thing goes back together, it's gotta go back to together the way it was balanced. So what you wanna do is, um, and this is what I've done, is I've taken a Sharpie and basically marked the primary cover and the, uh, the, the movable sheave. I also put in two scratch marks uh, on both sides. So in the event as I'm working on this, the, uh, the shark marks are uh, worn away. I still have the scratches on the, uh, on the, uh, the movable sheave and the primary cover for reference. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove the, uh, the bolts that are holding the, uh, the cover onto the movable sheave. And these are 7 16 bolts. So what you want to do, because you know this is under spring pressure, essentially you want to go in a crisscross pattern so as this cover is coming up, it doesn't bind. So these are not that tight, so you don't need a super heavy duty impact wrench. Um, all, all I'm using is a my Bosch 12 volt impact to take these off.
So now the, uh, the cover's right off, comes right off. And what you're gonna be pre presented with is the spring, which we're gonna remove. This is a red spring. This is one that was on the uh, the Indy Trail 488. It's not the right spring for this application, so we're gonna be replacing the spring. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go after is we're gonna go after removing the weights because uh, these weights are different in the application between the trail and the XCR. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove those. And those come out pretty easily. All you need is the uh, an Allen key and a thin wall socket. I believe this is 3 8 Yep, it's 3 8 So all you're gonna do is you're gonna basically put the, uh, the Allen key right there and then just unloosen it and it'll come right out. So what you want to do is don't take the knot completely off because more than likely we're going to have to tap these pins out. And we don't want to maul over the, uh, the edge of the pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, take a drift and slowly uh, tap the pin out. And we're going to use the nut to uh, protect the threads. Right, so that one actually came out pretty easily. Take the nut, put that to the side. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab it. Try to grab it. Oh, and don't drop it. So, <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go around, remove the, uh, the pins, and then we'll uh, slide the weights out, but I'll say I go find that pin. Okay, so now that we have all the uh, pins out, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna grab the weights and they just come right out. Simple as that. All right, so at this point, the, the, uh, the weights have uh, put, been put back in and the uh, wool wool sheave goes up and down without any binding, so looks pretty good. All right, so what we're doing is we're putting in the, uh, the correct spring uh, for this primary. Um, I ended up using a, I, I ordered a uh, SLP, SLP spring just because it was a little bit uh, cheaper than the Polaris spring, uh, but it is the same rate. So what we're gonna do is this just essentially goes on there. And in case you're wondering, this is the, the black and yellow spring. It's the, uh, same engagement RPM, but there's a, there's a 10 pound difference on the uh, on the final one. Um, I believe this one is 190 to 310, whereas the Polaris one was like 190 to 300. So what the extra 10 pounds on the uh, on the upper limit will mean is that the engine will just have an additional 50 RPMs as far as it will top out at. Okay, so at this point we have the cover on, all the bolts are started, and this cover needs to go down straight on the shaft, so we don't wanna bind it. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go after three bolts. We're gonna go after this one, this one, and this one. And what this will do, 
um, this will bring the cover straight down on the shaft, right? And uh, we'll do that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it by hand and we're just gonna go, just give a little on each one. And what this is gonna do for you, this is gonna pretty much ensure that the cover is going down straight on the shaft and it's not binding. All right, so the torque spec for these clutch cover bolts is 100 inch pounds. Converted over to foot pounds, it's roughly eight. So, got the torque wrench, and what we're gonna do is we'll just do go on a crisscross pattern and torque these down. So I've already done this one. So what we'll do is the main clutch bolt needs to be torqued down to 50 foot pounds. So with your torque wrench set to 50 foot pounds, you're gonna take a pry bar or something and you're gonna stick it through the primary so you can stop them from spinning. And you're just gonna torque it to 50 foot pounds. All right, that's it. All right, let's start it up and see how we did. All right, mission successful. So if you notice the, uh, the engagement RPM is right where it needs to be. It's right, right around 4,200 RPM. Compared to the, the red spring that was on there from the Indy Trio, you know, it, that one engaged at like 3,500 RPM. So, you know, because it engaged so low, um, again, it, that was just there to move the sled, you know, around the garage and everything else. The engagement on it was too low, not in the power band. So, you know, you know the sled was really doggy out of the hole. Now that it's back in the correct RPM range, the thing really takes off <laughs> in the garage, so uh, we should be all set. All right, so if there's any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. As you saw, this is a pretty straightforward process. It's not that hard to do. No special tools, and uh, you can do it within about an hour, uh, taking your time. All right, hope everybody is having a great day. Talk to you later. See you.